save a little money. How about repurposing old or things that you're not using anymore? Furniture. Cynthia Sutton is here. It's good, to see, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I love when you come to visit us because you've got an antique store right. in Columbus. Columbus, Texas. Yes, and Silver Barn. Yeah. I love it. And you come up and bring us all these great ideas every now and then. And you really have done a great job today. Well, thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm excited about this. We We're like to we like to mix the old with the new. Yeah. And with everybody's talking about eco-friendly and saving money, why not start with the very basics, which is furniture? We got this column here on the end. We got it at an antique auction mm -hmm. for like $30. And all we did was took the top off, which was wobbly anyway, and put a silk floral arrangement in there. For Easter, we had bunnies and everything I coming out of it. it. It's like a little banister, something that you would find, you know, and it's a great in the front piece. of your house. It's a great piece. You could, you could do so much with it. This changing table is my, my absolute steal. It was $2 when we first had it. And let's take a look. This is something that you picked up at a sale. At a sale. Two bucks. It's, you know, it's your basic white changing table, but you added a whole lot of possession. We came to it. back. We <laughs> probably spent another $20 on the paint and change, painting the knobs mm -hmm. and doing the little bedding to match, and that was it. But that's like saving yourself. Sixty, seventy dollars, oh, and, and it's personalized. Yes. It's very unique. It's very different. You're not going to find anything like this. I love it. Very cute. Okay, let's talk about how you even do repurposing. Well, Krylon is my absolute favorite in the whole world because okay. it makes the world so much easier. Because <laughs> if you can spray paint it, you can have it done in an afternoon. Okay. Um, and this table is a is a good example yeah, of. Yeah, I want to sort of like tilt it forward because. Mm -hmm. You've got all the rings there from drinks, the exactly. years of folks putting their coffee cups and cans on there. And, and what I do is, is sand it down just a little bit, okay. then put a product on there called Kills, which will kill any other colors or anything on there, okay. and then spray paint away. And, you know, do it on a nice dry day, do it when it's not too hot or too cold, and it's done pretty quickly. And I you, love it. You know, for nothing, you've gotten a lot out And then of you it. can personalize the color to match, right. you know, some of the things you already have or wallpaper or the color in your home. Or you could do this for the kids' room. They're big UT fans. They change, change to be, you know, well, University well. of Oklahoma fans. You have to change it to red. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Easy stuff. Easy, Easy stuff. stuff. Okay. This, this, this table... This was my grandmother. So this is over 60 years old. It was one of those walnut inlaid circular tables. Mm -hmm. What I did, I painted it red for Christmas. And then I came, all kinds of I came back and painted <laughs> it white, put the little rhinestones on there. Or you could even take these little, little flowers and you could put that on there, put it in a little girl's room. And it is a great little table. That is super cute. And all of us have some piece of furniture that was, you know, given to us by right. a relative or something that we have from a garage sale that we don't want to get rid of. It doesn't fit into the house. No. All you need to do is change it a little bit, and it's something that you can carry yes. into the rest of your years. You yeah, know? and it's something, you know, in a little girl's room, if this was your grandmother's, imagine... It just has a it has a special significance to you. Super cute, I love it. And if you're if you're hunting around for things like this, you can find stuff like this at a garage sale. Very inexpensive. Goodwill is yeah. another great place. Garage sales. Go to the junkiest antique store you can find because that's where the great finds are in the back mm -hmm. of the store. Mm -hmm. Now right, this, this next thing is interesting. It's a window. It's a window. It's a window on the back side. In fact, it's a window all the way through. But what we did is we put contact shelf paper, their their uh, chalkboard paper, uh -huh. or you can get the spray paint from Krylon that is also the, the spray-on chalk, sure, seen it. and then you have a chalkboard for your kitchen. I love it. Very cute. And there's the knob. That, that was the original knob for the window. And, and then you tied on a little of the chalk right here. So and then the we right tied on the hinges. The, the string cute. for the top is off the hinges of love, the window. Love it. Okay, this next piece, this is a great example of how simple it is to really change the style. This is something that you found at an auction. Not this it's like a auction. little sideboard type thing. And, you know, it, it came with some knobs. It came with some, some kind of ugly <laughs> knobs. So you changed them. All we did was change the knobs. We changed it to this. You could do this. So you can spend a little bit more money on the knobs mm -hmm. because you've gotten such a good deal on the table and you've made something very special and very unique that you're not going to find anywhere. Look at these. These are you, And you can find knobs like this all over the place. You, we carry them at our knobs. store as well, and you can, yeah, anywhere. Go anywhere, find any crystal knobs. And they're not very expensive. This no. is a great deal. You no, can these change, will range from about like three two, bucks. Yeah, two to three stuff. dollars. I love it. And this came like this, but this is also easy to do oh, if yeah. you've got something if you that's got an old finish on it. Absolutely. Just paint it and rub on the sides, and that's how you get that antiquing area. But you're not going to find new pieces that have, like, the fold-down 
brown drawer in the front there. Right. You're not going to find those kind of pieces anymore. And this thing is heavy. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a solid wood piece. It's not pressed wood. So tips for us if we're on the hunt to repurpose furniture. Look look at the quality of the furniture. Is it sturdy? Uh, you know, shake, you know, kind of move it around. Mm -hmm. Is it sturdy? Does it have good bone structure, basically? Um, is the top warped to the point because of weather or whatever that it's going to be? You're, by the time you finish sanding, you've, mm -hmm. you've gone down to the nub. And, and even in some cases, if the top is bad, if you can easily remove the top and it's solid, you could put a marble top on or, you know, oh, good, any yeah. granite that would match your kitchen. You could do any kinds of things. So just check the, check the structure. That's really check all you Check the wear, check the tear, and just make sure it's something that you're ready to keep around for a while. And once you be work creative. on it, you want to keep it. And That's be for sure. creative. Don't Thank be you. afraid because you can always take it off and start all over again. That's right. This table was once red. All right, guys, if you need some more information about Cynthia, she is at Silver Barn Antiques. You can find her there. She's got a great website as well. Just go online to Silver Barn Antiques. Antiques.com, and you can follow her on Twitter as well. Look for Silver Barn Antiques, and don't go away. First, though, we've got something else you can enjoy with your family. It is.